Hey everyone here from Tunnelvision TV and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys a really easy way to do a day for night shot or day for night grade using DaVinci Resolve. So first of all I'm going to jump into Google and um, I usually search for an example of a grade that I want my footage or my shot to look like. So I'm going to just search for day for night like that and uh, then I'm going to click on images and then I'm just going to scroll through here and I'm going to try and find something that I really like, uh, something that I want to try and achieve using DaVinci and um, I already have an example, I actually downloaded this one here. Uh, so I just saved it as an image and um, then we're going to go back into DaVinci and I'm just going to drag my example and my footage into the media pool like this and uh, then we're going to go to the edit tab here at the bottom and I'm going to drag both of these onto my timeline just to create a sequence and then I'm going to go to the color tab to start my grading. So this is the shot that I want to change into a night scene and um, I'm going to show you guys a really just a really quick and easy way to do this. So if you go to the example that you downloaded from Google what I usually do is I go to my scopes just click on this button here to enable scopes and then I change this to vector scope first to look at the saturation of my shot. So as you can see, this is really low in saturation. Um, it's not peaking anywhere really crazy. So I'm going to first try and achieve that on my uh, shot on the first node. So back on my shot, I'm going to, as you can see, the uh, saturation is quite a bit to the orange uh, yellow side. So I'm going to just drop my saturation down and you'll see that uh, little point will just go inwards. I'm just going to take it back all the way something like that if we go back to the example you can see it's obviously going in the other direction into the blue direction um, but we just try and get that length of that saturation or the amount of saturation uh, close to that okay so that's looking pretty close okay secondly i'm going to create another node so i'm going to right click add node corrector and i'm just going to drag that in there we go and uh, then i'm going to go back to the example and i'm going to change my vector scope to the parade and uh, this is basically where we're going to do our main grade so as you can see uh, red is quite low then a little bit higher we've got green and then higher than that we've got the blue so you can basically just draw a diagonal line from red green to blue all right so i'm going to try and achieve something similar with my shot so i'm going to go back to my footage and on that second node what i'm going to do i'm going to take my red i'm going to take it down and uh, then the green and then the blue something like that but if we look at the other example again you can see that it's actually touching the zero or complete black so I'm going to try and uh, achieve that with my shot as well. So the way I usually do it, I go back to my primary wheels and then under lift, I'm just going to take this wheel under lift and just scroll that down until it's kind of touching. I want these um, little boxes or these blocks to basically touch the black. So I'm just going to take it down. Something like that should be fine. And uh, then I'm going to go back to my primary bars. Now, uh, if we look at the example again, you can see they're not spiking too high because obviously it's a very dark shot. So let's try and achieve that as well. Go back to our shot. And uh, then I'm just going to bring this uh, this slider down here. I'm just going to bring that down all the way. And you can see now it's starting to get really close to that. Okay, I'm going to bring out the red slightly. And just play with these sliders until you kind of get, look at this example, a little bit more of each one. So I'm just going to go back push the red up a bit, green that one, then bring up the slider, something like that. Okay, you can obviously see we've got a big spike here in the, um, in the highlights, so I'm going to go back to my primary wheels, and then under gain, I'm just going to bring that spike down a bit, let's see if we can bring it down. Okay, let's go back to our primary bars, and we'll just push it up a bit, red a little bit, blue a little bit. And as you can see, let's look at this full screen. It's looking pretty cool. I'm going to just toggle between that's our original shot and that's our graded shot. So as you can see, our shot is a little bit blue. So let's fix that quickly. I'm going to go back to my scopes and I'm going to change this back to the vector scope. And as you can see, it's spiking towards the blue pretty hectically. So if we go back and look at our example, that's the way it's supposed to spike. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my shot and... Um, then basically on this second node you can just go and drop down your saturation just pull it back in something like that maybe that's maybe good enough uh maybe want to add a little bit blue so i'm going to go back to my parade again and i'm just going to increase the blue slightly okay you can obviously play with these uh colors just to try and if you look at your picture just try and kind of get it so it looks cool i'm going to go back to the vector scope 
and just pull back the saturation a little bit. So as you can see, that's our original, that's our graded shot. So yeah, there you go. Really quick and easy way to do a day for night grade using DaVinci Resolve. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Give me a thumbs up if you did. And also remember to click on that subscribe button if you want to be notified of weekly tutorials. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers, bye.